Welcome to Maths Class Children. I hope everyone of you have ready to do our uh, Maths books, some student class work. I hope you, uh, you have understood the previous class and you have done your homework. So today we are going to do the continuation part of the previous class. So in the previous class we have completed with the 7th grade. So today we are going to start with the 8th grade. Okay, so here uh, also public speech also we don't have place as we are doing all the bits in the classroom only. So this also you have to do in the classroom. Okay, so for eight bit uh, you have arrange in columns and add. So what you have to do here, whatever the question they have given, you have to arrange them in the columns. Okay, arrange in columns. And add. Okay, so here whatever the question is there, first write the question. So here you have 3211 plus 2007. So the question is given in the horizontal way, you have to arrange them in the vertical way and you have to do the addition. Okay, so I said already whenever you are writing the words or the numbers, you have to give little space. Okay. So 3, 2, 1, 1, space you have to give and uh, when you are writing the next set, second set of number you have to write from last, yes, so if you write from last it will be clear, okay, under each number you have to write the number, from last number you have to write, okay, so last number you have to take and you have to write from last number, see 5, 7, 3, 2, Okay, so why I am saying this? Because here uh, you have same number of digits. See, 1, 2, 3, 4 here, 1, 2, 3, 4 here. Both the sides you have having same number of digits. But in some questions you may have 3 number of digits in one set and 2 in one set and 4 in one set. So to avoid that wrong answer, wrong solution and the confusion, we, if we will write from the last, it will be clear. So till where you will get the number, till that page only you have to. If you write from starting, you will get definitely you will get wrong answer. Okay, so here we have arranged them in the columns. Now you have to do the addition. I think every one of you know how you have to do the addition. Yes, so 5 plus 1. Yes, so 5 plus 1 it is 6. So we will write 6. So 7 plus 1, 8. 3 plus 2, 5. And 3 plus 2 here again it is 5. So what is the answer you want here? 5,586. Okay, so here uh, only you have to be careful when you are arranging the number in the columns. Okay, so first set you can take as it is. When you are writing the second set only, you have to write some last. Last number you have to take and you have to write it in the last page only. Okay, okay, last number you have to take and you have to write it in the last page. Last page only. Okay, so be careful when you are writing the question and uh, when you are writing answer, you know already how to have to do the action, you can do it. Okay, so in this bit you are having three more questions. Okay, so you do all the three problems as homework, why because they are very easy. Okay, simple addition problems, you can do it. Now, we will move into the next bit, that is arrange in columns and subtract. So, this is also same thing. Yes. So here I explain one problem. Same like this only you have to do. Okay, the process you will do here is subtraction. Arrange in columns and subtract. Okay, so what is the question they have given here? 4950 minus 1237. Okay, so the main thing you have to remember when you are doing subtraction is always the big number, the big set of numbers. Yes, it should be in the first place. So how we will know which number is the big set of number? By taking, see here you have 4 and here 1. Means 4 is the bigger number. So this complete set will become the biggest set. Okay, so biggest number, this is 4,900. And this is 1237. Okay, so when you are writing, same like your previous bit, when you are writing the first set of number, you can take directly, give space between number to number, 
and it keeps the symbol whatever you are doing. If you are doing plus addition, you have to write plus symbol. If you are doing subtraction, minus symbol. If you are doing multiplication, into. If you are doing division, division symbol. Wherever it is required, you have to compulsory. You have to mention it. Okay. So first set of number we have written. When you are writing, same like previous, just now I said, you know, two times I have explained in your previous bit. When you are writing the second set of number, you have to write from the last. Last number you have to take and you have to write from the last. Seven, three, two, one. Okay? So like this, you have to check from the last and you have to write from the last number. Okay? Now you have to do subtract. So just now I said, you know, always on the top, you have to have big number. Yes? So when you don't have the big number, you have to take goal writing. You know already in your previous class, you many number of problems you have done in this additions and subtractions. See here you have 0 and from 0 you have to subtract 7. Can you do it? No. So in that cases what you have to do, you have to take goal from the different numbers. Goal means what? How many numbers you may have? From there you will take one number for the next number, for the help. Okay, so here you have 5 numbers, from there only 1 you will take, so whatever the next one numbers are there, you will write it there. And why you have taken it all, so that one you will take for the next number, and you will write whatever the number you have done, that one you will write here, so that will become a 2 digit number. Okay, now here you have 10, and you have to subtract 7. Okay, so from 10, if you take out 7, how many you will have? You will have 3. Okay. So, if you want to go for back something, you can go, or if you want to close and open, also you can go. Okay, so 10 minus 7 is 3. Now, 4 minus 3. So, from 4, if you take up 3. So, from 4, if you take up 1, 2, 3, how many is left? So 1. Okay, so 9 minus 2. So, 9 minus 2, how you can do it? So, take out 9 fingers and close 2 fingers. How many left? 7. So, like this also you can go, or else you can go for back something. From 9, if you go 2 numbers back, 9, see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these are the 9 numbers. If you go back on thing for 2 numbers, see 9 is finished, 8 is finished. How many there? 7. So 7 will be the number. Now 4 minus 1, again same like that you can check, it is 3. Okay? So like this you have to do, arrange the numbers and do the subtraction. So do this 9th bit also, remaining problems as number. Now see your 10th bit. 9 bit. It is multiplied. Okay, so for doing this, uh, multiplications compulsory you should know tables. Without tables you cannot do anything. Yes? So definitely compulsorily you have to do tables. You have to learn just in the previous class as I said. You have to learn till 20 tables. If you don't know tables, daily at least 2 to tables you learn. If not, you give. If not, you cannot do anything with the multiplication. Okay, so 20 tables, daily 10 minutes reading or daily 2 to tables to be possible. Okay, so here uh, the first question they have given 134 is multiplied with 72. Okay, so if you know 17 table directly you can multiply. Yes, if not you can do with single digit also. First you are each them in the columns, multiply with 17. Okay. So double digit multiplication. Okay. So 7 you have to multiply with all the numbers. See how we will do the addition. Yes. So in addition we will uh, multiply, add, add with only single number. But in multiplication what we will do? One, multi one number we will take and we will multiply with all the numbers. Okay. So 7 we will multiply with 4. So 7 4 sir, or 4 7 sir, both you will get 4 7 sir, or 7 4 sir. you will have 28. So the last number you will write here, the first number you will carry on the before number. So 7 3 sir. so 7 3 sir, 21 plus 2, 21 plus 2 it is 23. Again here also last number you will write it down and first number you will write on the top. 
Next is 7 1 sa. So 7 1 sa 7. 7 plus 2. 7 plus 2 is 9. Okay. So multiplying with 7 is finished. Now one more digit is there. No? And this is of 10th place number. So we should remove our 1 place. Our answer also should start from the 10th place. So 1 4 the 4. 1 3 the 3. And we are also the same when you are addition. Each number should be under 1 number. So under 1 number we should have 1 number. 1 1 the 1. So after completing multiplication with the 2 digits. With the 2 digits multiplication is with its finish. Uh, now you have to do the addition of these 2 lines. Okay. So 8 under you don't have any number. So you can get 8 only. 3 plus 4. So 3 plus 4 you get 7 here. 9 plus 3. So 9 plus 3 you will get here. 12. So 2 is here. And 1 is carried. 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay. So these are all problems already you have learnt in your previous class. Okay. So they are very easy. So the same topics again you will have in the future chapters also. So there also you can be perfect with the more number of details also. Okay. But the method is same. Method is same for all the things. If you know this one, you can do for the other problems also. I think every one of you have understood this one. First one number you should take and multiply with all the numbers and write the answer. Next to go with the second digit, there is tens place. So block your one's place. Answer start answer should start from tens place only and multiply with all the second digit and add all the two columns. Two rows. Okay? So in this also you have few problems, three problems are there. So in these three problems you do them as homework. Well. Now we will solve with this. So here the 11th bit you have divisions, divide. Okay, so these divisions and multiplications both deal with the tables only. So you have to be perfect with your tables and without tables you cannot do anything. Multiplications and divisions require tables, compulsory tables. Okay, so here uh, they have given Divisions. So divide here. So here you have 4, 1, 6, 9 divided by 9. So here 9 is the divisor. Nine is the divisor. 4169 is a dividend. Okay, so in your division, you are going to have dividend, divisor, divisor, portion, and remainder. So these are the four things you are going to have in your division. Okay, first we will arrange them in the division method. Okay. So here 4169 is divided by 9. Okay. So 4169 is the number. So you have to check with the 9 table. So the number is 9. So 9. You have to check with the number. See here, you have 4. So, 4 is a smaller number. Okay, if you wanted to take single digit number, the number should be the bigger number. Okay, compare with the table. Okay, if it is smaller number, you have to take 2 digits. Okay, 41. Do you have 41 in 9 table? Yes. So, how you will know? If you know 9 table only, you can know. See, 9 ones are 9. 9 ones are 18. 9 3 is 27, 9 4 is 36, 9 5 is 45, 9 6 is 54, 9 7 is 63, 9 8 is 72, 9 9 is 81, 9 10 is 90. See, this is the thing. Okay, 90. Now, 41 you have to check in the Hey, see, do you have 41 in your answers? No, you have 45. So, 45 is the big number, more number. Yes, compared to 41, 45 is the bigger number. So, you should not go for bigger number, you should go for the
the smaller one. Whatever number you have, you should go for the smaller number, not for the bigger one. So 41, more than 40, uh, 41, less, what is the smaller number you have? Compared to the 41, what is the smaller number you have in the table? C9, 18, 27, 36, 45. 45 is more. Before that, what you have? 36. So 36 is smaller. So you can take 36. So this 9 is there already here, so we should not take. 4 we will take in the quotient place. Okay? And 36 we will take down. Okay? As soon as you take the number, you have to do the subtraction. So 1 minus 6 is not possible. So take 4 here. So 3 here and 11 here. So 11 minus 6. So 11 minus 6 is 5. 3 minus 3 is 0. If not 41 minus 36, directly also you can do. Okay? So 5 here, then drop one number, 6. So in 9 table, 56. Do you find 56 in any page? No. 56 is not there. 63 is there, 54 is there. So just now I said no. Whatever number is there, you have if you don't find the exact number, you have to go for the smaller number, not for the bigger number. So 56 you have, but 56 is not there. So 54 you have. So we'll go with the 54. So 9 you should not take. So this 6 you should take here. And 54 down. Okay. Now 6 minus 4. So 6 minus 4 is 2. Or 56 minus 54 also you can do. 6 minus 4 is 2. 5 minus 5 is 0. Okay. Then you have to drop next number 29. Okay. So do you find any number 29 in the table? No. 29 is not there. But 27 is there. So you can take this 27. Okay. So here uh, 9 you should not take. 3 here you should take. And 27 now. Now you have to subtract again. 9 minus 7. It is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So what is the remainder? 2. Okay, so 2 is the reminder. So like this you have to do. And here you have to write a dividend divisor as no? So what is the dividend? 4169 is the dividend. Next divisor is 9. Next quotient is 463. Next reminder is 2. And here they are asking you to do the checking also. Divide and check this and no? so checking you have found out already you have learned in your previous class. So dividend equals to divisor into quotient plus reminder. So this is the formula you have to uh, find, maintain for your checking whether you have that correct answer or not. So divisor is 9. So 9 if you multiply with your quotient 463 and if you add again your reminder 2, you will get to the same dividend. Once we will check here, see 463 into 9. See 9 3 is 27, 9 6 are 54, press 2 50, 56, 9 4 is 36 plus 5. So 41. So 41 again what you have to add? Reminder 2 you should add no? Plus 2. See 7 plus 2 9. 6 1 4. So what is the difference between 4,916 students? So whatever the process we have done here, it is time to be 4,916. Okay? So like this you have to do your division problems also. Okay? So in this 11th bit also you have three problems. You do them as homework and we do in the next class with the mechanical division. Thank you.